Okay, video part three, basic differentiation, chapter two. Chapter two, uh, <clears throat> AP calculus. Let me continue, but before in the book, uh, I had, I did some mistake over here. It's not five X power four into two minus X or cube. It's five X power four into two minus X to the power three, Yani. We have power three over here, right? So let me do it again in case you need to know that 5x to the power 4 into 2 minus x cubed what is the derivative of this one y prime equal we can directly uh, expand that 10x to the power 4 minus 5x to the power 7 right sorry this is y and now we do y prime y prime is 40x cubed minus 35x to the power 6 that's it example number 16 uh, we expand it also so this is number 16 y equal a 3x squared times x is 3x cubed minus 3x squared times 1 or 3x squared times minus 1 it's minus 3x squared plus 5 times x it's plus 5x and plus 5 times minus 1 it's minus 5 so the y prime is equal to 20, uh, 3 times 3 is 9, x to the power 2 minus uh, 6x plus 5, and the derivative of constant number is 0. So that's it. Number 17, uh, number 17, as you can see, it's y equal ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So y prime directly equal 3a times x squared plus 2b times x plus c because constant times x, its derivative is only this constant number plus d, and the derivative is equal to 0. So, <clears throat> that's it. If y equal k over x, what is its derivative? The derivative of k over x, also we can prove that by definition, right? But here we are just using the rules. If uh, uh, y equal constant over x, its derivative is minus that constant over x squared. And if it is constant times radical x, the constant remains constant, right? Why? Because we all know that the derivative of uh, 1 over x, if y equal 1 over x, so its derivative is equal minus 1 over x squared. So what's the difference between this and that? It's just the constant. So we multiply with the constant and the derivative. Here the same. What is the derivative of radical x? It's 1 over 2 radical x multiplied with k, so it's k over 2 radical x. Now let's move to another uh, title, which is higher order derivatives. Problem one, y equal <clears throat> 50 x power five plus three over x minus seven x to the power minus five over three. What is its derivative? Y prime equal 250 x power four, right? Uh, plus or minus because it's constant over x, so the derivative is minus that constant over x squared, right? Minus 7 times minus 5 over 3, it's a plus 35 over 3, x to the power. Minus 5 over 3, minus 1, and the 1 is 3 over 3, right? So it's minus 8 over 3, minus 8 over 3, and that's be it. y equal x power 4 y equal x to the power 4 <coughs> and uh, a 9 a 9 x to the power 4 plus 6 x squared minus 7 x this is normal one so y prime is 9 times 4 36 x to the power 3 plus 6 uh, 2 times 6 is 12 x minus 7 constant times now uh, x the constant stays so f prime of x equal 3 over 2 times 6 3 times 6 is 18, 18 divided by 2, it's 9x, 3 over 2 minus 1, it's half minus constant times radical x, so the, the, the uh, derivative is constant, as you can see here, times radical x, then the derivative is constant over 2 radical x, so the constant, which is minus 12 over 2 radical x, or directly I can simplify 12 divided by 2, it will be equal to 6 minus 8 over radical x 8 over radical x right 
what is this the derivative of this one we can rewrite this one as minus a times x to the power minus half the easiest way to do it i think so the easiest way till now to do it is that so we can rewrite it as this one what is the derivative of y times x to the power minus half because this one is x to the power half raising it to the numerator it will be uh, uh, x to the power minus half what is its derivative minus half times minus eight is half times eight which is four x to the power half right plus or sorry minus because minus 3 over 2 times 24 3 times 24 72 divided by 2 it's 36 x to the power minus 3 over 2 and minus 1 which is minus 2 over 2 so the answer is minus 5 divided by 2 we can leave it as it is it's a final answer to me we can rewrite it as another uh, simplify it more if you want like x power half we can write uh, as radical x and over here also i did a mistake here uh no this is x power minus eight x power half right uh x power minus half actually x power minus half times minus eight it's uh, four x to the power yeah that's that's true uh, we did some mistake over here right because the derivative of that x power minus half minus one so it's x power minus three divided by two right it's minus three divided by two x power minus half minus one not plus one i did plus one all right let's go to practice exercise set four practice exercise set four all right we have to just uh, find the derivative of each expression and simplify the answer simplify your answer okay so we have to just do the derivative of each of those okay now let's write this first as uh, to expand it right 4x squared plus 1 all square square the first it's 16x to the power 4 plus 2 times the first times the second it's 8x to the power 2 plus square of the second let's name this as y this implies what will be y prime equals to okay 4 times 16 is 64 x to the power 4 minus 1 is 3 plus 2 times 8 it's 16 x to the power 1 and derivative of 1 is equal to 0 this one also we can uh, we can let's uh, <coughs> simplify it expand it square the first it's x to the power 5 squared so it will be x power 10 plus 2 times the first times the second it will be 6x to the power 6 plus square of the second 9x squared let's name that as y that's y sorry so then y prime will be equal to 10x to the power 9 plus 36x to the power 5 plus 18x okay so it's simple so easy so what is the derivative of this one it's uh, 77 right 70 7 times x to the power 6 what is the derivative of this one it's 80 x to the power 9 what is the derivative of this one it's 54 which is 3 times 18 x to the power 2 plus 12 the constant only and derivative of 11 is 0 derivative of this one let's keep the half outside and do the derivative inside 12 right x power 11 and derivative of 17 is 0 now 12 times half is 6 x to the power 11 what is the derivative of this one keep the minus 1 over 3 outside it's 9 x power 8 uh, plus 6 x to the power 2 and derivative of 9 or minus 9 is 0 the final answer is going to be, is going to be minus a third times 9 it's minus 3 x to the power 8 minus 6 minus a third times 6 is 2x squared right uh, what is the derivative of x to the power 5 don't tell me it's 5 pi to the power 4 right pi is not a variable pi is an irrational number so pi power 5 is a number is a constant number and what is the derivative of derivative of constant number it's zero what is the derivative of this one over here that's nice and uh, let's do it in the other video because time is over see you in video 4